New information tonight from your coronavirus headquarters. We're getting a better idea of what new restrictions, COVID restrictions, mean for us in eastern Washington. Thanks for joining us on this special edition of 4 News Now. I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Nia Wong. As Governor Inslee announced yesterday, we can go to movie theaters again. And restaurants are allowed to serve alcohol an hour later, too. But don't get too excited just yet. Eleni Dow joins us in studio with what we should expect as we move forward. Yeah, well, Spokane County's top health officer says if more people start testing positive for the virus with these loosened restrictions, it's possible more restrictions will come in the future. Effective immediately, movie theaters can reopen with 25% capacity and restaurants can seat up to six people instead of five. You can also eat at restaurants with other people instead of just those in your household again. I think that's a very minimal change, but I think it definitely has a very positive impact on that sector that's really been heavily impacted by the COVID-19 restrictions. Dr. Lutz says 95% of restaurants are doing the right thing. It's the other 5% creating issues by not following the rules. I really don't want to punish those that are doing the right thing for those that aren't. And so again, I think that some loosening is very appropriate. Acknowledging that, however, that if we find that it's too much, then we pull back. Not so simple when your kids can play sports again. That depends on the county case numbers and risk level of the sport. Short version, no soccer or football in Spokane just yet, and no indoor team sports for a while. Also, no fans until a county sees fewer than 25 cases per 100,000 people over a two-week period. Spokane County continues to be in the 190 to 200 range. If I can use our last big peak spike as a um, template, it took us a little bit over two months to get uh, through that. Now we are heading into the colder months and, that, and that's a concern for Dr. Lutz. Being indoors increases the risk of the virus spreading. Lutz says he and his team will be working on helping people hopefully combat that spread as we move closer to the holiday season. In studio, I'm Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.